The Steelers handed Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks a 2018 loss in Pittsburgh, even though Tampa was favored by more than a touchdown. That, according to Fox Bet Sportsbook. Now, it did get close at one point. Brady nearly led the team to a tie late in the fourth, but they come up short on a two-point conversion. Now, here's an interesting nugget. Brady flew separately to Pittsburgh because he attended Robert Kraft's wedding Friday night in New York City. The Bucks converted only one of their four red zone chances, just under 30% on third downs. Ouch. Shannon, what do you think is the biggest reason the Bucks lost to the Steelers? Brady was awful, and he's been awful all year long. And a lot of people are afraid to say it because they don't want to upset Tom Brady. But here under the Fox umbrella, we use the term fair and balanced. And fair is, he's been terrible. His lowest QBR since QBR has been into existence, 2006. His lowest touchdown pass is through uh, six games. Lowest yard per attempt. He's awful. And now, Jen said, no, hold on. He flew separate. Well, at Jen didn't add, he missed Saturday walkthrough. He missed 11 days in training camps. He doesn't practice on Wednesday. He flew separate, but he quit the holler, team, team, team. Mm. And now he's, every time I turn around, he's in somebody's face on the sideline. If I'm an offensive lineman, I'm going to say, bro, mm. you play it like stir fry your damn self. Mm. You see ghosts that are not there. How many times did he miss Chris Godwin when he was wide open? How many times did he bounce into the tight end? How many times did he overshoot the back? But you don't want to talk about that because you're afraid to upset Tom Brady's feeling. Well, I don't care. He's been terrible. He's 45 years of age, and he's dealing with something publicly he's never had to deal with before. That is what's going on with Tom Brady. Mm. Mike Evans ain't going to be happy about getting only getting four targets either. But mm. that's none of my business. I don't even know why I brought it up. Mm. Every time I turn around, he's on a, guy, you're so much better than what you're playing. Are you any better than what you're playing, bro? Mm. I don't know if somebody need to give him a mirror or let him watch the tape. But he's been terrible this year, and you know it, and you won't say it. But I will. Mm. I'm going to stand on it. Because you know what? I got the numbers to back it up. A team without their top three corners, without one of the best, two or three best safeties in all of football, a team without the best, one of the best defensive players, two or three best defensive players, and you can't get but 18 damn points. Mm. Four or 14 on fourth down. That's Tom Brady. Ping, ping, ping. Mike Evans was there. Chris Godwin was there. Russell Gage was there. All of his co all of the guys that you say, because every time Tom Brady lose, there's got to be a reason. No Julio, no Mike Evans, no Chris Godwin. All of those guys were there yesterday except Julio. And what happened? Mm. He looked hot mess. You know it, and I know it. And I want these guys, these beat writers, and I want everybody that's covering Tom Brady, call it like you see it, mm. like you do for everybody else. Mm. We're not trying to take what he's already done. He has those seven Super Bowls. He's won six on with game-winning drives. But that ain't got nothing to do with how he's playing right now. Mm. He's playing like some straight-up landfill. Mm. Not trash, landfill where they take all the trash out. Mm. So that's why they lost. Huh. So let me get this straight from the Hall of Famer, Shannon Sharp. I'm not in the Hall of Fame, but for six straight years on this show, you have tried to send Tom Brady home. Now, okay? still. Is it time for him to go home? It's the now. Is it time for him to go home? I need it on the record. I, I need it right now. No, 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 no. No, we got to go bigger picture. No, we don't. You're saying Let's he's all right. Talk about this. Has See, he? That's what you always do. You always try to shift. Go big picture. Go to yesterday. Why did they I'm lose? about to really go to yesterday, but I need you on the record. I ain't got nothing to you, say. I don't say my part. Because you're afraid, because you know he's the one man in sports you cannot bet against. He's the one man who has made you look sillier than any man in the history of the is world he, has made you look. Is he making me look silly now? Is he making me look silly now? He, he, he will. Is he making me look silly now? I, I, I need it. I need you to tell I me. Gave you. I said he was terrible. I said he was terrible yesterday. He was terrible for the first six weeks. Is he washed? You see, you is it time watch to go it. home? It's been that time. Oh, really? It's been okay, that time. I got him. I finally got him on you the record. On wait, nothing. wait. Shannon Sharp says it's time to go home. Am it's I right? It's time for him to go home because okay. he has other things this. on his mind. I love can this. You can you? Oh, so in other words, there's nothing going on with Tom Brady. There's nothing wrong with Tom Brady. I Let think, me get you a record. Okay, I'm, on, a record. I'm on record. I think that's been going on for about five years. No, 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 no. Had it, had it become public. Mm. Remember, remember, video changes everything. When things become public knowledge, it changes everything. So now I want to get you a record. Is there anything going on with Tom Brady? Uh, yes or no? I don't know. Oh, now you don't and know. Neither do you. <laughs> now you don't. Neither 
don't Neither know. Do now you. you don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. you don't know. So I, I'm going to remind you that during the pandemic year, when somehow Tom Brady righted the ship and went on to win the Super Bowl, <sighs> they lost on a Sunday night at home to their arch rival New Orleans Saints at home, 38 man, to that three. That was a question. And would you believe that Tom Brady threw three interceptions in that game and looked way, 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 way worse than he looked yesterday at Pittsburgh? And Shannon Sharp said, "It's time to go home." If and you know what? It was time to do. It was time to go win the Super Bowl with the is Suckin nemesis, ears. Because that's what you do. Every time he lose a game, that's his nemesis. So mm. Pittsburgh is nemesis. Remember, he owns the Steelers, right? He Remember? used to. Oh, now he used to. Okay, why, why is he used to? Okay, it's my turn. And, and it's my turn to talk, and I'm not going to be interrupted. Why you want to rub me I, I let you spew no, you all your garbage you all over the table. Anytime you spew garbage, he know I got it. Go ahead, really, take off. Really, I ain't got nothing to say. You really Everybody at home know what they saw Tom Brady yesterday. for the truth of what happened yesterday. The Pittsburgh Steelers had lost four straight games. Mm -hmm. They had just lost at Buffalo 38 to 3. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Tom Brady losing to, to the Saints, 38 to 3. Yep. They looked completely dead in the water because, to your point, they had lost the three corners. They had lost Minka Fitzpatrick. They had also lost T.J. Watt. So there's no way that anybody's going to get to Tom Brady. He got the SH kicked out of him yesterday. He never gets touched. Trust me, he got touched and touched and touched and touched some more yesterday because they could not block Pittsburgh. Couldn't block him from day one. From the, that's why he was screaming at the offensive line. What are you guys doing? They came out deadheaded because they did not take Pittsburgh seriously. And in did this Tom league, Brady take him serious? Wait, it's my turn to talk. Did he take him serious? I, I, you know what? I, do you, okay, you talk. Okay, thank you. You go ahead. Did Tom Brady take him serious? He, so, so in other words, you're going to fly a private jet all the way to New York to see your former owner get married. That's taking the team serious. You're not going to show up for Saturday walkthrough. Walk through. That's taking them serious. You're not going to practice for on Wednesday. you taking them serious. You miss 11 days in training camp. you taking it this season serious. Everybody got to take it serious except Tom Brady. Why? Go ahead. Take Tell it. me when you're finished. I'm done. Okay, now my turn. Again, for what actually happened in the football game that I watched without Brady hate my eyes j just coloring. You, you wear Brady <laughs> hate glasses when you watch this. You, you got a Brady hate TV that you bought. I don't know where you got it. <laughs> On the dark web somewhere, they gave you a Brady hate TV, I, I and it shows you an exaggerated form of what Brady's actually doing during the game. So here's the first play I would like to show. This happens very early in the game. It's a third and six at the Tampa Bay 35, 11.41 to go in the game. And they make a big stop because the rookie quarterback, he's starting to unravel a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a bad game. And watch what Devin White does to the rookie quarterback after he has delivered an incomplete pass. Can we see Devin White, please? He just shoves him down for no reason. He just shoves him down. It doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't do you any good. He just shoves the kid onto his back and gets an automatic easy flag that sustains a drive that becomes seven to nothing Pittsburgh. Yeah. You can't do it. You're just not ready to play. You're not thinking. It's just one of those errors that you make, a mental error where you just say, what are you thinking? Okay. Then on the next drive. Down they go to first and 10 at the pit 17, and Brady's starting to look like Brady, and he throws a ball to Cameron Braid, who didn't last much longer in this game. But he throws a ball to Cameron Braid at the goal line that Miles Jack makes a hellacious play yeah. on. He gets up and gets fingertips on ball and tips it just away because that's a touchdown. It Trust is. me, it's going to hit him right in the numbers for a touchdown, and it's going to be 7-7, seven to seven, and all of a sudden it's 7-3. to three. Then we get to another fateful turning point in the game. It's first and goal at the Pittsburgh 3, which becomes second and goal at the 1 after a two-yard game by Lenny Fournette. So it's second and goal at the 1. What does Tom Brady do better than anybody has ever done at quarterback he in the sneak, history? but his leg's gone. I don't think his legs are gone. Did he you did not get see the one? I saw okay. him got stuck. That was at midfield. I got it. But when it when he smells pay dirt, there's nothing like him in the league. There's there, there's never been anything like quarterback sneaking Tom Brady for touchdowns. You have to. It's like from the half yard line. You have to sneak it. Instead, he gives it to Lenny Fournette for minus three. Then he gets sacked for minus five. And all of a sudden, you have to take another field goal, and you're still down by a point. Then they get the lucky bounce field goal off the crossbar. <laughs> at the end of the half, and that's when you know it's not our day. And that ignited Tom Brady yelling at the offensive line. Well, he does it almost every game. He yells at somebody because that's just who he is. And, and, and more, more so now, Skip. Okay. Did, he didn't used to do this. He didn't used to, I mean, yeah, he yelled uh, uh, in New England, but not every 
Every game now, there's not one game this season in which Tom Brady hasn't lost. Well, he's, he's, he's galvanizing the team. He's motivating team. That guy's a great leader. That's not what they say when other guys start yelling, but that's neither here nor there. Remember, he has a rookie left guard. He has a center who had never played center before this, this year, Robert Hainsey out of Notre Dame, who was drafted in the third round to play either right tackle or right guard, and they stuck him at center, and I think Brady's having a hard time with him Connection. because he's not being able to hold the fort down in the middle of the line. So, in other words, Tom Brady's the only guy that has an influx of offensive line. He's the only guy. So he's going through this of the 32 starting okay. quarterbacks, only Tom. Obviously, he's 45 years of age, and he can't get hit like he got hit yesterday because he's not going to last much longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to be right because Father Time's going to punch him right in the mouth. Who's skip? So, so when did Tom Brady realize he was going to turn 30, 45 during the okay. season? Well, he just needs to be protected better than he was in the first half. Well, the officials doing the, the officials doing the best job they possibly can. Okay. So <laughs> now, opening kickoff of the second half. That Sims kid for Pittsburgh takes it and goes 89 yards right up the gut. You, you can't do it. It, it against an underdog, a hopeless underdog at Pittsburgh. The crowd's going to go crazy, and all of a sudden they're going to get another field goal, and you're going to be down well, 13 well, to you nine. should have been down. You should have been down a touchdown. Jamel Dean got on his horses and went and got it. Mm -hmm. He did. It was sweet. He, he, he Jamel, Jamel Dean saved you. He, that was four points. Jamel Dean is a pretty big corner, and yeah. he can flat fly. Yeah. I, I was highly impressed by that. That saved four points. Indeed. I give you that. Now, here comes the GOAT, and he is the unquestioned unqualified goat here he comes and if i could show you a throw he made to chris godwin who you said he, he had he threw him 12 balls he only caught six this is a 28 yarder okay. this is with 11 33 left in the third quarter this is a goat throw i, I don't care what you yeah. say that that's that, that's big yeah, time that was. That, that's tom brady at his greatest still at age 45 and he throws it back into a very him. tight window. Yeah, he back showed him. And, 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 hit him. and that was a big throw that I thought, okay, maybe they're going to get back in the game. But they take it all the way down to first and 10 at 13, and they have a false start. And then they have an eligible man down the field. And they wind up with another field goal. Yeah. And you can't keep doing it because you're going to lose. You're, you're, if you go into the red zone four times and you come away with one touchdown, you're just going to lose well, Skip, at that's, Pittsburgh. Skip, that's been the MO okay. the whole season. All right. Okay. And then. If I could show you the uh, – I'm going to get to Trubisky in just a moment. But if I could show you another throw that Brady made. This is the 17-yarder to, um, to the rookie Otten. It's third and four at the Tampa Bay 45. And, and he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, that was a sweet throw also. Yeah. That's on the button, tight window, well covered between two defenders. And he hit him, and he stood strong in the pocket. That ball's got some juice on it. And then Lenny Fournette takes it home – good throw for the touchdown from 11 yards just a little swing pass and it was all for net he didn't run the ball very well but he caught it very well yeah. as usual okay so then that leads to the two-point try to godwin and i will give you this i don't think brady made a great choice on this play to godwin because devin bush has he fooled he, him skip he, he's covered it yeah he, well, well, watch what devin bush de watch what devin bush does yeah he pretends like he's going oh yeah. i no, 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 i got you he, he takes a couple steps to the tight end and then he and, and he got a hand on it. Yeah, Brady never it, saw him. He never saw him. And I think it would have been a catch. It looked like it was yeah, on oh, target, yeah, he, but yeah, Devin Bush him. got him. And I don't know if it was the best choice on that throw, but, but whatever. It didn't work, and all of a sudden, they're still in trouble. Now, here's the catch to this game. Here, here's the catch 22. Here's, it's just like the Dallas game. In the end... Brady needs the defense to rise up and save him, as it has many times in the past, because they're really good, or so I thought, on defense. Would you believe they let Mitch Trubisky convert four huge third downs at the yeah, end of the game? Those two third downs. You, you, you just going, can't man. do it. But it's, it, I think we have them all in a row. It's third and 13, third and six, third and 15, and third and 11. If we could see these in a row, here's the big one, third and 15 on the out route. I don't know That's what Carl Davis was thinking. I, I don't either. It's just huge. This is... Mitch Trubisky, that's just wide open. That's just silly. And, and then here we go with the last two. This is the, the Claypool. Clay pool. Huge. And this this was is the player of the game. Killer. This, this is, is the player of the game right here, Skip. He rolls out, throws it up the sideline, and Claypool Back gets his feet in. And that's game over yep. because now they've killed the clock. So Mitch Trubisky comes off the bench. And take this
style and the fake, I'm always straight I got the diamond that shine like a lemonade These bitches crying like I say, ain't no time to waste You always lying like a race, right back in your face You always crying like a bitch, yeah, you better pray No better time for me, I'ma be a great These checks I'm signing, that's great, you should change your way You want someone and I hate the way you show your face Off-white kicks, got them danced, I got 